Hey SD fans, welcome back. And for those here for the first time, my name's Mark. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Scuba Diver Media brand and welcome to the Scuba Diver YouTube channel. The Diving Equipment and Marketing Association's annual trade event was due to be held in New Orleans this November and it was just one of many large-scale conventions to fall victim to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, DEMA bounced back with a brand new virtual event that aimed to provide the dive industry with the same opportunities to connect, learn and grow. DEMA Show Online featured an extended virtual education series which ran from the 15th of September and will continue till the end of November. But all this week, there's been a virtual trade show and networking event. The organisers tried their best to make sure this included much of what we have come to expect at the DEMA Show proper. And how successful that was is up for debate, but at least they've given it a shot. Anyway, one of the main things I go to DEMA for, apart from the APRE show networking in the bar, is to see what new equipment is being launched for the coming year. Sadly, this virtual DEMA did not attract as many manufacturers as usual, but of those who were there, we have done a roundup of some of the most interesting things to come in 2021. Remember, being virtual, we couldn't get our hands on any of these products, so we're having to rely on what they've told us about them. Right, let's dive right in. Siegel launched its Halo BCD, which is the world's first jacket-style BCD that utilises Siegel's patented ripcord weight system, as well as their personal fit system in the shoulders for easy custom shoulder placement. It's made from 1000 denier urethane bladder material, but the pocket, shoulder, harness and cummerbund are a mix of 1680 denier high heavy duty and 420 PU material. The ripcord system, which lets you drop weights with a single tug of a handle, can hold 20 pounds of dumpable lead. And there are trim pockets that can hold 10 pound more. So more than enough for all kinds of diving. The seven stainless steel D-rings are well spaced out for those who want to attach accessories. But for those who don't want to look like a Christmas tree, there are two easy access pockets that are big enough for the SMBs, spools, and so on. Scuba Pro was showing a raft of new products, but many we've already seen or reviewed already including the D-Mass, the D420 Regulator, and the Hydros X BCD. But brand new was the Mark 19 Evo BT G260 Carbon BT Regulator System. Scuba Pro calls this the ultimate in lightweight regulator design, and it features Scuba Pro's new environmentally sealed balanced diaphragm first stage, the Mark 19 Evo BT, finished in a special ultra-durable black tech coating along with an upgraded version of Scuba Pro's most popular tech diving second stage, the G260, featuring a lightweight, ultra-tough carbon fiber front cover. There were also a range of new S-Tech technical diving harnesses, donut wings, reels, spools, trim weight kits, and much more. Oceanic had the Geo 4.0 dive computer. This next generation dive computer features an updated display area with larger, crisper digits. Oceanic's painted the dual algorithms there, five optional cover straps are available, and Bluetooth connectivity to all smartphones through the Divalog Plus app. Hollis were unveiling the DX300X dry seat, which they are at pains to point out was designed by technical divers for technical divers, and apparently it's been developed over three years in demanding conditions. Hollis describes the DX300X as the benchmark expedition grade dry suit with superior strength and comfort. The outer layer is heavy duty nylon cordura, the middle butyl mass is constructed from 12 layers and the inner liner is a silk wheel polyester offering the optimum in comfort and softener. It includes Cytex silicon neck and wrist seals and has two thigh pockets, 3M reflective safety strips for visibility, double thick knee pads, 5mm neoprene socks and internal braces. Fourth element was showcasing several new products including the Arctic hoodie which has a two layer construction with the Arctic's water repellent outer and the high density fleece inner, creating the perfect garment for colder temperatures. It's also machine washable and it has two useful hand warmer pockets. Now I dive in the Arctic and the Arctic Expedition undersuits and as this utilizes the same material, it is going to be one incredibly warm hoodie, perfect for winter dog walks. Might have to put one on my Christmas list. Anyway, moving on. Fourth element also had the Xenos 7mm wetsuit, 
which features hardware and knee panels, hydrolock wrist seals, internal ankle seals, glide skin neck seal, thermoflex lining with a thermocore chest panel, it's all double glued, blind stitched to minimise water entry, and a double smooth skin zip flap which also reduces water entry through the back zip. The Xenos 7mm has the same ease of entry ethos as the 3mm and the 5mm versions of the Xenos, both of which are incredibly easy to get in and out of. Other new products included redesigned neoprene gloves, an Expedition dry pack, 3mm surface hood, the RF1 freediving vest, a Stinger suit and a Destination swimwear collection. Bear Sports were displaying the Velocity Ultra wetsuit, which features the progressive full stretch construction of the Velocity with the advancement of ultra warm Omni Red infrared technology. I've dived bare products with Omni Red, and I have to say, it does actually work. The material absorbs heat from your body and reflects it back, keeping you warmer than traditional neoprene. For example, I dived their 5mm gloves in the depths of the British winter, and while they're not as warm as dry gloves, as you'd expect, they kept my hands far warmer than I expected, so it'd be interesting to see what a full wetsuit is like. The Velocity features protect knee pads, heavy duty ankle zippers for easy donning and doffing, comfortable contour glide skin collar, row glide skin wrist and ankle seals, and flotsam construction throughout for stretch and comfort. Seamless underarms provide superior comfort when worn on its own, with an additional wet layer, or with a BCD. Bear were also showing the Evoke wetsuit, designed by Bear's all-female design team which embodies the latest design thinking by using the aforementioned ultra warm Omni Red technology to increase circulation, body warmth and performance, making what they think is the warmest women's suit on the market. I look forward to getting these products and diving them as we progress through 2021. And I know that there's more to come from the manufacturers who were not at DEMA this year. Watch this space as we'll be reviewing kit as and when we get our hands on it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell so you get notification for all our new videos. As always, if you're going diving in the coming days, enjoy. Stay safe.